Don't put all your eggs into one basket. Don't have too many baskets either. I absolutely love hacking and I often experience flow as I hunt for security issues in mobile, web and network assets. I do penetration tests as a private contractor, I hunt for bugs on Cinec, I offer consultations and one-on-one -on -one training and I love teaching all about cybersecurity for free on YouTube and through paid courses on different platforms. Cybersecurity is one of my baskets. You can easily see that I diversify within this basket. Aside of what I mentioned above, I also have affiliate revenue and do pay promotions, therefore more diversification. It would be utterly stupid for me to rely on a single source of income, a single egg so to speak, and only one basket, such as bug bounty hunting for example. As much as I adore it, if bug bounty were the only thing I do, I would probably be on a fast pace to plateau, mental fatigue and eventually burnout. I can still remember a little over a year ago when I fearfully deposited my first $200 into a freshly created trading account and uh, more vividly when I profited a dollar or so with one of my first uh, trades. Fast forward to December 2020, I made a lot of mistakes, but I also made some nice profits. I started with small trades and I increased gradually over time as I became more comfortable with the entire process. I knew nothing when I started. I know a little bit more now. I'm constantly learning and educating myself from resources, video books and of course uh, from my own trial and error, which is the best lesson. I do zero commission trading, meaning that there are no fees to buy or sell a stock. You can do this on platforms like Robinhood, eToro, Trading212, Free Trading and many others and you can start with as little as $1. They're more than excited to get you on board. My golden rule here is that I have zero emotional attachment to the money I invest and trade with. Otherwise, my trading decisions would be clouded by anxiety and fear. Trading is another one of my baskets. I can diversify within this basket uh, by, for example, teaching what I know, making courses, offering consultations and doing some sort of uh, affiliate marketing, probably later on. I began teaching myself coding back in 2015. I created Python courses and YouTube videos all along my never-ending journey. JS, C++, Golang and Bash are other languages that I'm teaching myself. I've been offered many opportunities on LinkedIn. Companies also approach me via my YouTube channel and by email for book deals and for having me teaching on their platforms. You can infer coding as being another one of my baskets. As I began understanding Python a little bit better, I started teaching myself machine learning. It was 5 or 6 years ago. The same story. I made courses, YouTube videos, articles on my blogs and elsewhere. At some point in the future, I will work on something that combines machine learning with cybersecurity and coding. ML is another basket of mine. As I'm going through this entire journey with uh, these baskets, I'm gathering additional skills uh, such as video editing, social media marketing, writing, speaking on camera, just to name a few from the very top of my head. Between 2010 and all the way up to 2017, I did a lot of study and most importantly self-experimentation with exercise, physiology and nutrition, less sophisticatedly known as fitness and diet. And I wrote five books all about it. Yet another basket. The underlying principle behind all of what I said in this video is that I have an insatiable craving for self-learning, for practice and for experimentation. Failure is a core part of everything I do. My rocket fuel is curiosity or awareness of the little I know and desire for discovery. I don't want to be a jack of all trades and master of none. I focus on a few skills, I study and practice to move forward with each. A few eggs in a few baskets to future proof yourself financially.